It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, no. It's okay. Ah. Ah. He's ruining it. Yes, I am. <laughs>what's up guys benji and anthony here and welcome to the bar as we review the featured film of rogue one uh just came out tonight uh if we look a little tired it's because it's 205 <laughs> in the morning and yeah it's worth it for star wars films. yeah so you know what guys let's get into it so rogue one's actually the story about how the death star became the death star in um star wars the the new hope the, right the, right or the original star and wars how the star. yeah and how the rebel alliance got the schematics for the death star yeah exactly so um without giving too much detail you know this is a non-spoiler one so we do have a spoiler one so if you click the link above us you're going to be able to go ahead and check that one out um just in case you've already seen the movie and you want to go into more detail um overall personally i feel like this film is just another great star wars film um as it is i'm not a great <clears throat> i'm not a big star wars fan but the reason i really loved it is because the cast themselves um Jin, which is the main character in in the actual story played by felicity jones she was good um one thing that i could say is she's not as great as let's say ray Right. Overall in acting, but she was really good. I she wish was, she was more like Ray. Yeah, exactly. Like she's still a great protagonist, um, a female role which we don't have a lot. Right. A uh, one that we kind of disagree on was uh, <laughs> Diego Luna, which was Captain uh, Cassian. Cassian. Mm -hmm. um, I personally feel like he did great. I think he did a great role. I think he plays very well as an actor. But <laughs> um, I really didn't care for him. I think they should have chose a different person. And I know um, it's great to see Mexicans as leads. Um, I personally like him in all the other movies, like, you know, Itu Mama Tambien, or, um, were the motorcycle drives? Was he in that one? I'm not sure. I believe so, yeah. yeah. So, uh, yeah, I wish they would have chosen someone a little bit more stronger for this role. And I, and I feel like it was, they, there was a good connection. I feel like it was a great, um, he did a really good job, and I, I really liked that as well. I actually love that they had a Mexican as one of the lead roles in I the story. Too. Um, there was other characters, you know, Donnie Yen was in it. Um, he was one of the guys, he was the blind man in the, in right. the actual thing. He believes he strongly was, in the Force, right? Yeah, exactly, Force. Whitaker was in it. There was a bunch of actors, too many to list, to be honest, at this point. But the, the good thing about it is it didn't feel like it was a cluster. Like, it was just so many that you couldn't follow. Right. I think it was a good amount on things and of course the the what besides the acting in this movie the great thing is just the way this movie is shot music scenery it's just beautiful it's just another star wars film you know just like when we watched back in the day with uh, new hope when luke skywalker's looking at the two moons and right and that's a great scene mm -hmm. yeah great scenes like that are in this movie the cgi the action in this movie is amazing and uh, when you say it's just another star wars movie you mean that the caliber is up there right? exactly the, like the, the detail the, the, the lucas films knows how to show you scenes and and it's simple it's just a spaceship taking off yeah. it's just people walking by it's, it's an beautiful. easter egg that uh, of two characters from past movies popping up you know that's something that's just great little things like that are very good if you're a star wars fan really keep an eye out for those easter eggs but oh, this yeah. movie is filled with them um one thing we could tell you about the movie is there is no ending so let me know i'm sorry no ending there's no <laughs> end credits to no this, post credit so, scene so if you haven't seen it and you're waiting don't you don't have to yeah. that's the good thing just leave right after the because you'll see the the ending is very tight yeah it, it's it you'll know what we mean when you see this film yeah i think every segment of the movie was great um it did I, one thing well I, the beginning is a little slow the one thing i don't like about star wars films personally is the talking in star wars <laughs> films um the dialogue itself you want is more fighting uh, you want more? i'm an action kid you know i really like 90s like kid Sears. loves action but in the end one of the things that i don't like is they talk a lot about like politics or plans and it kind of gets boring in certain points in, in the movie so be ready for that you know it's it, but it's still star wars so you're still gonna get the great dialogue between the characters when there is something going on that you really want to pay attention to and if you're like me who likes the robots and the uh all-terrain vehicles like look out for them you're going to see them in new locations like on the beaches it felt very yeah. you know very pacific uh, world war ii-esque for me at sometimes and but it was a good thing but that scene also kind of though like i talked before for first awakens it did feel like a copy and paste from one of the star wars films i believe it was the third one when han and the you oh, were in, in that the, scene. The jet, okay, in the forest? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that Avengers. scene still reminded me, but it was fresh. It was something yeah. new. And the reason I kind of love this film, the reason I kind of like it a little bit more than a lot of the Star Wars films, is because 
it's new. It's something different. It's not I Jedi. Gonna, on Jedi. I was gonna say. I thought you were gonna say that there's no Jedi. Yeah, it's not like Jedi on Jedi, and like Jedi is doing this and Jedi is doing that, and then it's like government, government, government. No, this was more like, hey, we're building something, which we all know what it is, which is the Death Star. Yeah. This is what it is. Let's try to figure it out. It's, it was one story. It's not five different plots going on at one point. Mm-hmm. So overall, I, I, I love this film. This is something I do recommend you going to watch. Whether you're a Star Wars film or just a film of sci-fi, you know, action. You know, you want to get to know a little bit more backstory of, of the Star Wars universe. I do recommend watching this movie. Personally, I'm going to give it an 8. I'm going to agree with Rotten Tomatoes with the 85%. I do. It's, it's, a, it's a great film. It's just another Lucas film. It's, it's something you can enjoy, you know, during this Christmas time. I also am going to give it an 8. It's not, um, it's not 10. It's not The Empire Strikes Back. You know, um, if you are a minimal Star Wars fan, you're going to enjoy this film. Mm-hmm. If you are a big Star Wars fan like myself, you're going to love it because you're going to be like, oh, I know where that guy's from. Oh, mm-hmm. I know what this creature's from. So, um, and also great CGI. You yeah, know, we, there's is. a character that we, don't, we won't mention, but there's, yeah, great yeah, CGI. Yeah, it's really good CGI with that. But yeah, overall, it'll be both agree. Hey, go watch this movie, we'll guys. see this film. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Benji and Anthony here again at the bar, and thank you for joining us for the review of Rogue One. Rogue One. We're so sleepy. <laughs> uh, join us on Monday. We're going to see a Christmas classic, Jingle All the Way, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, he'll be back. <laughs> so hopefully you guys can join us for that. On the comments down below, let us know if you've watched Rogue One already, which is a little soon, but if you have watched it, let us know what you guys thought about the Big movie. nerds like us. Also, let us know if your favorite Star Wars film from all of the ones that we've seen so far. Which one's yours? Mine's is, has to be Emperor Strikes Back, yeah. Mine, like I said previously, is The Empire Strikes mm-hmm. Back. Uh, still a classic. Uh, don't forget to share this video on all platforms that you like to share videos on. Uh, we're on Facebook, we are on Instagram, we're on Tumblr, and we sometimes tweet. Yeah, so there's links down below. Go ahead and click those if you guys want to join us there. Also, guys, don't forget to give us a thumbs up on the video if you guys liked it. And, guys, don't forget to let us know of other movies you guys want us to review. Uh, maybe some other Christmas ones or, you know, for the new year coming up, we can review those. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe as well and have a good one.